diamond PIV analysis. Here we have the two-dimensional silhouette of a diamond, modeled in CAD and reverse molded to fit inside of the PIV machinery. Over the course of this video, we will be exploring different backlighting settings and particle enhancement settings. Regardless of the setting, you will still be able to notice the fluid flow around the diamond. As the fluid is allowed to accelerate towards the diamond, you will notice a stagnation point at the very top of the shape. This stagnation point causes the fluid to flow around the shape. You will also notice with this high velocity flow pictured here that there is high turbulence towards the back of the diamond. This turbulent flow creates eddies, also known as recirculation pockets. Here, the velocity of the fluid decreases, causing turbulent flow. The particles seen in this turbulent flow can be seen following up the size of the diamond before colliding into the original stream of the fluid. As the velocity of this fluid increases, the amount of turbulence seen also increases. Returning to our original settings of a green backlighting and white spec enhancement, the fluid flow velocity will now be decreased. As this fluid is at a very low velocity, you can see that there is also very low turbulence. This means that the boundary layer that is developed by the fluid is allowed to stay attached to the shape for a longer period of time. Again, as the velocity of the fluid increases, turbulence increases, which can be seen here. Were your predictions about fluid flow right? Let us discuss.